determining how many carbs you need is shouldn't be a hard thing. It really shouldn't. And this spells it out really well for um, anyone out there. So if you're doing light exercise, low intensity, a skill a skill base, you're just uh, you know uh, mowing the lawn, doing you know doing some weeding, three to five grams of carbohydrates per kilo body weight is perfect. BM is just body mass. Um, we're going to use body weight because we're on Earth. Um, moderate uh, moderate exercise, moderate amount of carbs. So we've got an exercise program, one hour a day. If you're doing some moderate exercise, say you're, uh, you go to the gym, uh, you do a decent workout, that's what I consider some moderate exercise at one hour. Endurance program, you're doing moderate to high intensity, you know, doing um, high intensity sprints, uh, some very uh, high volume uh, weight training, uh, 6 to 10 grams of carbs per uh, kilo of body mass. And then we have very high, you know, people for doing... Uh, people are doing uh, training for uh, marathons, um, triathlons, all that kind of stuff. Iron Man, eight to twelve grams of carbs per kilo body mass. It's actually it's a funny because people try to say you know um, they try to make all of this carbohydrates and everything so complicated, and it's really not. You can have a look at the uh, situational uh, carbohydrate um, targets and all that kind of stuff. In your own time but it's funny how people make this so complicated it's like you know should I eat 80 10 10 should I eat um, 60 20 20 should I eat 70 15 15 well at the end of the day it doesn't matter what percentage you eat how much activity is there in your life and what intensity is it what volume how much do you do of it it all comes down to how much so and what intensity as to how many carbohydrates you need and it's really not that hard it varies from 3 grams to 12 grams now 3 grams as I said that's um, weed in the garden and then we have uh, very high which is uh, marathons training for marathons you know, every day 4 to 5 hours you know kind of uh, and Lance Armstrong kind of stuff you know um, not doing the drugs I mean like you know the training and all that I just want to point out they don't actually have a um, basics for fat they they don't even have it if you go here um, say protein alcohol supplements carbohydrate iron they don't even have one for fats you know why they don't have one for fats because fats are basically irrelevant carbohydrates stored are inadequate to meet the fuel needs of an athlete training program the results include fatigue, reduced ability to train hard, uh, impaired competition performance, and a, reduce, a reduction in immune system function. Now, if that isn't important, then what is? So, carbohydrates, key fuel source for exercise, especially during prolonged continuous or high intensity exercise. If you do high intensity exercise or prolonged um moderate exercise like marathons and all that kind of stuff carbs are going to be your food to go to um, what are some good f fuel sources of carbs they've got a whole list for you you can check out the list I don't need to cover that heaps of carbohydrate sources are vegan so there's no problems there either